Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is another weight loss update for you all. So we're on to week, I think 103. And as you all know, I didn't actually go to group tool um, on Tuesday because I was at home and the group I go to is um, down by where I work and I didn't want to go all the way back just it, it's quite a long it's not a hugely long journey but I didn't want to go all the way back just to get weighed so I thought I would just book a holiday for that week instead which is what I did and I weighed myself at home instead and what I did was I actually waited until about 5 30, I think it's a bit later I think it's about 7 30 by the time I weighed which is kind of a similar time to what I usually weigh I wore the same as what I weigh when I get weighed Apart from I wore a different a different top, I didn't wear the one I usually wear, but it's it's the same style, it's just in a different colour, so I thought it wouldn't vary too much. So what I'll do is um I took a picture, which is the best thing I could think of doing, of what I weighed. So what I'll do is I shall show you. So as you can see here. I weighed 13 stone 10, so that is a main tan for me, which I'm not sure I'm hugely happy about, but I didn't put on, so it could be a lot worse. Um, I was kind of, I don't know, I expected to lose maybe a pound, maybe, I, I don't know, I, I did expect to lose a little bit more. Well, I expected to lose I suppose but I didn't and I'm not really sure why to be honest um, I kind of stuck to every well I stuck to what I was trying to stick to I kept on having keto coffee in the mornings I had my treat day but I kept it down scenes not scenes but down my calories it wasn't as high as the treat day before I think I did 2200 calories which I did wonder if that could have been too much. I'm not really sure. Um, but I, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I did have some, I did have a little bit of chocolate in the week, which I probably shouldn't have had. Um, there were only like small little hotel chocolate type ones, you know, about that big. And I had, um, I think three on Saturday and three on Sunday or four. But it kind of, I don't know, maybe that wasn't a good idea. But other than that, I felt I, I stuck to it sort of okay. I had, I know in my last video I said I was going to have some pecan nuts, but I didn't actually have the pecan nuts in the end. I actually decided to stick to having um, porridge or some form of porridge. Um, I tried, what did I try? Um... I tried um, baked oats, which was really, really good. I actually quite enjoyed that. And I also tried um, like those, I did like oat cookies. They were horrible. <laughs> I followed a recipe I found on the internet and it did say to put in like four tablespoons of sweetener, but I thought oh, I'm not putting that much in because I don't want to have to be sinning that. So I decided only to put two and a half teaspoons in but it was really disgusting they were just like eggy oat things <laughs> they looked like they were going to be okay but I didn't like them at all I put in a little bit of um, chocolate essence and salted caramel essence to try and give it a bit of flavour but I just didn't I probably won't be doing those again or if I do it'll be hugely tweaked because it was ugh, not nice um, so basically when I wasn't having like some sort of porridge type thing I was having just normal porridge which was yeah it was okay I had um, I finished off the last um, super goodness fruit ones from Quaker the multi-grain type ones so I finished those off this week and I've also bought the Big Bowl original porridge which apparently is also a healthy extra bee. Um, There's quite a lot of porridge in that. I'm finding that the amount of carbs that I'm having with that is probably a little bit more, well a bit too high than what I really want to be having. So 
I'll probably still have them, but I'm not sure if I'll rebuy that again. Um, another day I had brown flakes as well, which wasn't very filling. I know you can have like, is it 40 grams or 45 grams worth? I can't remember, I looked at, I did check before I weighed it, I just can't remember at the moment what it was, but I did, I did check it and weigh it. So I did have the right amount, but I just can't remember. So I had that as well and it wasn't, I don't know, I just missed toast. So I don't know if I might go back to toast, I'm not sure. I'm still kind of thinking what I need to do really, because the weeks when I have lost more weight, than I'm losing. I did have carbs in my meals, but I'm wondering if maybe I should be having a little bit more carbs in all of my meals and but restricting it, as, you know, restricting it to 100 grams of carbs a day, but having a little bit spread over the day instead of having it all in one kind of lump, which I might be happening with the porridge. I'm not sure I'd have to really look back over my fitness pal because as I've been doing it I've been keeping an eye on my macros as well and seeing where I'm at and the other thing that I'm thinking is that there's a lot of days where I'm not really eating that many calories I'm not eating like 1500 sometimes I'm just about making 1200 it's like not quite same amount as what I should be but I feel if you eat less you lose but maybe it doesn't work like that so I'm thinking that I should be also trying to up my calories a little bit as well I don't know I might try that um, so that's kind of basically been it really um, food wise for lunches it was pretty much the same as I usually have um, I think I might have changed a few of the meals because there wasn't. I don't. Th I think I ran out of meals because I didn't do a batch cook. Um, I've done one this weekend, but I didn't do one last weekend. So I think it was a bit of a struggle actually to have enough for the um, the meals. But basically, I would have had. I think that's. I've got a picture here that I'm referring to on my phone, but I can't actually tell what it is because I've got loads of vegetables on top, but I don't actually know what was underneath it. It was probably bolognese or lamb rogue and josh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and then I've had omelette as well with some pat choy, um, some olives, green beans. I'm just literally going through my phone at the moment. Oh, there was another day I had, um, yeah, I remember bolognese and vegetables and I did some of the butternut squash crinkle chips and had that with my lunch as well. And then another day I had um, sausages and I had, I don't know what veg that is, I think it might be some form of kale. I think it might be black kale actually. If any of you haven't tried that, that's actually quite nice. And I had like the squaffles, which are the butternut, shop, butternut squash shaped in a waffle shape and I really quite like those I featured them on my tops and flops which I uploaded the other day um, so that's been quite good oh yeah and I also did um, pizza topped chicken which was going to be I was going to do that for my lunch actually but by the time this was on the Saturday by the time I got round to I ended up not having any lunch <laughs> So I did it for dinner, so I did the pizza, it was pizza, so it was chicken and I put some tomato puree, some tomatoes in with some vegetables, put it all on top of the chicken after baking it for half an hour and I put some cheese over the top and I had that with some squaffles as well and some more green beans. Now the pizza one, the chicken top pizza, I actually got that idea from Jane which I'll link her channel down below it's Jane SW and she does quite a lot of recipes but she did that on one of her days and I thought it looked really good and I just fancied having it so I thought I would give it a go it's never ever appealed to me so it was like the first time I thought oh yeah I'll have some of that so um yeah um I also had um the first time I tried the porky lights because there's been so much people raving about them now they are a good sausage, don't get me wrong, I just don't like the skin, they are so chewy I find around the outside, so 
I mean, I ate them all, but I wasn't hugely keen on the, the skin. I don't know why, but what I've ended up doing is I bought another pack and took the skin off, and they were really good without the skin. <laughs> so I know I'm so fussy, so but I do apologise <laughs> how fussy I am. <laughs> but I just am so fussy when it comes to sausages. So anyway, but that was really that was quite good. I, ha I actually cooked them and had um, had some for my lunch, and then I had my partner had a couple, and then we. I had it like as a snack during the day so it lasted a couple of days really but it was really good another day I had uh, salmon mushrooms leek and cabbage and some roasted tomatoes so that was really nice I think that might be kind of about it oh yeah I also did um, a barbecue sauce which was another thing that Jane um, did in one of her videos it's barb I think it was pulled pork with barbecue sauce now I didn't want the pulled pork I did just the barbecue sauce and I got the recipe out of the uh, little book of sauces slimming well book so I actually batch cooked some of that and I had it with some uh, already cooked chicken with some vegetables and that was actually really good it's not something I would usually have but I thought why not um, Actually, one of my breakfasts that I didn't mention, one of my breakfasts I had yesterday, I had some scrambled eggs, <laughs> which was a bit, that was quite good, the scrambled eggs with some asparagus, you know, to get a little bit of uh, food in there. Um, I also had, I had some chicken sausages that I tried. I think they're half a sin each, and I think they're Debbie and Andrew's lean chicken, I don't know if they're Italian sausages. Anyway, um, they were really really good the same thing I cooked six of them and then I had me and my partner had some for lunch and then we had I had some for my snack and I did that with some vegetables which had butter in I think they're, they're like bird's eye ones or something so yeah all in all it's been quite a, a good week oh yeah I had um, also a lamb burger and some aubergine with some green beans and mushrooms so yeah, that's basically been all my meals. I also had a sweet potato with that, but I think if I was going to have carbs, I should have got on and been having carbs a little bit every week instead of just that one day. <laughs> anyway, so I thought I would go through some of my meals with you. Um, so for the rest of the week and next week, I think I'm going to probably introduce a little bit of carbs throughout my meals or two of the meals try and cut down a little bit on what I'm having in the morning well sort of my morning kind of snack which is usually porridge I'll carry on with the keto coffee and we'll see how we go from there so I'll be back at group next week I'm hoping I'm actually going to stay for group <laughs> I think I probably will because um, my consultant said to, to come and stay and I don't have to talk if I don't want to so I think I'll probably stay for group and I don't really have too much more to update you with, that's basically been it. So what I'll do is I will see you soon, I guess, in my next video, whenever that will be. It will be It will be next week, I'll film it either Tuesday or I'll film it Wednesday for you and get it uploaded because I'm keeping on top of my uploads at the moment. So I'm, I'm doing okay there. And I, Oh, and thank you for all the lovely comments as well. And been lovely I've replied to you all and I shall see you next very very soon so I hope you're all having a good week as well I always forget to say stuff at the end and then I suddenly remember and I'm like reeling off loads of things so anyway it's meant to be quick and now it's at like 14 minutes so I shall go and I'll speak to you all next week hopefully with a loss bye